Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're jumping back onto the 440cc golf cart. So if you guys haven't seen last week's video, definitely go check that out. So today we're going to start by mounting up that new jack shaft. So we're going to make up some new mounts for that. Um, and then I reckon we'll jump onto that clutch. Alright, so I've got the pillow blocks here. So I've laid them out. I'm just measuring the distance between. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these that same distance apart and cut this little bit of steel here. I'm going to weld that in, just temporary, just to hold it in nice and square, and then we can sit it in that um, swing arm because the swing arm is actually rounded. So that'll be this little bench will be nice and even, and uh, yeah, then we can tack it all in. So for some reason, these M12s fit in the slotted bolt holes, but in these ones they're tapered at the top, so I'm not too sure why that is. So we're just going to ream them out with a 12mm drill bit. Alrighty guys, so I just got those plates welded in there, just a bit of extra support. Um, and the pillow block mounts, I've just got them tacked in, just with a bit of angled there. So I will be filling in the top part all the way along there and down the bottom with weld, but for now they'll be right. 
Um, so yeah, I think we'll start to mount up that um, jack shaft. All right, so I've got the pillow block sitting there, just got these um, G clamps holding it there. So I've measured between here, it's 20 mil on both sides, and then I measured from there, it's 425 mil to each side, so they're nice and square. So I'll be able to drill some holes in there. Alrighty guys, so I managed to file out um, all these slotted holes, even the engine mount holes, so I just filed them by hand, it did take a bit of time, um, but that's all good now. So yeah, as you just saw, I just welded on these adjusters, so that makes everything nice and um, pulled tight, and I'll do the same on the motor once we have that down. But now I'm just gonna put these bolts in, we're gonna adjust this chain up, I might have to take a link out of it, and uh, yeah. All right, so it looks pretty good there. Um, it is sort of chattering a little bit. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll have to see about that once we go for a drive. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna whack the motor on and we'll try and get this sprocket here lined up, hopefully tack it in. Guys, so I got that all welded up there. It does look a little bit dodgy, but it's actually really solid and it's gonna hold. Um, this chain is just an old pit buck chain. I'll be replacing that because it's all filthy and dirty and worn out. So I'll be uh, getting a new one of those and putting that on. Everything's all nice and square that I can sort of see it. I've tried to match everything up. Now I've just chucked the exhaust on and the air cleaner on really quick. Um, I think the next I'll just chuck the body back on. I do want to take this thing for a rip. I've got a dodgy little accelerator hooked up here. Um, I really want to see how this thing runs. So I think I'll just make up a little bracket on the back here for the fuel tank and I'll try and steal some fuel line off some of the old bikes laying in the back there. All right guys, so the body didn't fit on, the muffler's hitting it. So anyway, I've just whacked the fuel tank on, just put the key start up there 
Um, I'll just pull start it for now. So that throttle cable sort of on there. I'm just gonna take it for a quick drive. So I'm gonna fill it up with some fuel and we'll see how we go. Alrighty guys, I'm absolutely stoked with how this thing goes. It is amazing. It actually goes really fast. Um, as you first accelerate, it just wants to take off and then it sort of evens out. So I'm not sure if that's actually that um, centrifugal clutch there. I don't know anything about them. I know you can adjust the weights, but I wouldn't know how to do that. So if you guys know anything about that, drop it down in the comments down below. So I reckon we may end up um, changing that back sprocket down there too to get a little bit more power out of it, just because it's sort of when it evens out, it sort of slows down a little bit. Yeah, in the next video, we'll be bolting on a new accelerator cable because that's a little bit dodgy the way we've run it there. Uh, I'll be relocating this fuel tank exhaust down to the back as well. And actually, the supercharger came this week, guys, so I'm really happy about that. So we might even get to bolting that up. Um, they actually are going to send out a brand new V-belt pulley for that. So we'll be able to put that on the side there. And um, then we'll be able to run our alternator off the same setup. But yeah, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. That really helps this video get pushed out to the recommendations. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button notification bell so you don't miss out. I think I'll see you guys in the next one.